Hello guys, welcome to Simple Spec Games. Today we are going to look at part 3 of top open world pixel art games you can play on PC. Before we jump to the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for info about low-end, indie, and pixel games. Out of Orbit is an exciting space exploration and survival game where you design, build, and manage your own spacecraft. The game features a vast, procedurally generated open world, allowing players to explore different cosmic locations, upgrade their spacecraft into massive space stations, and engage in combat with enemy ships. With survival mechanics such as resource management, crafting, and base defense, players must gather materials, trade, and survive cosmic events. Stone Shard is a challenging turn-based RPG set in an open world. You play as a medieval mercenary traveling across a war-torn kingdom, fulfilling contracts, fighting enemies, and managing your character's health and resources. The game features a rich, procedurally generated world with roguelike elements, allowing for a high degree of replayability. Players must navigate survival mechanics such as injuries, pain, and fatigue, while also developing their character through a flexible leveling system. Forager is a charming pixel graphic open world game inspired by exploration, farming, and crafting games like Stardew Valley, Terraria, and The Legend of Zelda. In this game, you gather and manage resources, craft useful items and structures, and build and grow a base from scratch. As you progress, you can buy land to expand your territory, explore new areas, solve puzzles, and raid dungeons. The game offers a variety of playstyles, allowing you to become a gatherer, farmer, merchant, adventurer, or builder. Traveler's Rest is a delightful tavern management game where you play as an innkeeper on a journey to transform a rundown tavern into a bustling social hub. Set in a cheerful fantasy world, you can brew your own beer, run a farm, craft unique dishes and drinks, and build relationships with the colorful characters you meet. The game combines elements of crafting, farming, and building, allowing you to create a cozy and inviting space for your customers. As you progress, you'll discover new recipes, upgrade your tavern, and explore the world around you. Crosscode is a retro-inspired 2D action RPG set in the distant future. It combines 16-bit SNES-style graphics with smooth physics, a fast-paced combat system, and engaging puzzle mechanics. You play as Lee, a mute character who logs into an MORPG called Crossworlds. The game features a rich sci-fi story, with plenty of characters and plot twists. Players can explore a large world with unique areas, solve puzzles, and engage in over 120 enemy types, including 30-plus boss fights. Zelter is a crafting survival game set in a charming yet dangerous pixelated world overrun by zombies. You play as a survivor tasked with building a home into an indestructible fortress, producing your own food, and venturing out to gather loot and rescue other survivors. The game combines elements of crafting, exploration, and combat, requiring you to defend against hordes of zombies while managing resources and upgrading your base. With its cute graphics and engaging gameplay, Zelter offers a unique take on the zombie apocalypse genre. Garden Story is an action role-playing game developed by Picogram and published by Rose City Games. It follows Concord, a young grape, who becomes the guardian of the grove and sets out to combat the invasive rot threatening their home. The game features a vibrant, open-world environment where players can explore various towns, complete daily tasks, and gather resources to rebuild and restore the community. The open-world aspect allows players to freely traverse the island interact with its inhabitants, and undertake quests that impact the world around them.
Avoid Hope is an atmospheric narrative adventure game that takes you through a dystopian city filled with dark, mysterious ambience. While it isn't a traditional open-world game, it offers a rich, immersive environment where exploration is key. Players navigate through the city, solving puzzles and uncovering secrets to progress the story of a tormented couple seeking a cure for a mysterious affliction. The game emphasizes avoiding combat and embracing exploration, with a focus on deciphering reality from nightmares and evading shadowy threats. Moonstone Island is a captivating creature-collecting life simulation game set in an expansive open world featuring over 100 islands to explore. As you embark on your alchemy training, you'll brew potions, collect spirits, and engage in card-based encounters. The open world aspect is particularly engaging, allowing you to build a home on any of the procedurally generated islands, each with unique biomes, ancient temples, and dungeons to uncover. You can also make friends, go on dates, and become a part of the community, adding a rich social dimension to your adventure. Owlboy is a story-driven platform adventure game developed by D-Pad Studio, known for its beautiful pixel art and engaging gameplay. You play as Otis, a mute Owlboy who can fly and carry objects, using them as weapons or tools to solve puzzles. The game is set in a world of floating islands, where Otis must defend his village from sky pirates and uncover the secrets of the ancient owls. The open world aspect allows you to explore various islands, each with unique environments and challenges, while recruiting friends with special abilities to aid you in combat and exploration. Zero Sievert is a tense top-down extraction shooter set in a post-apocalyptic world, developed by Cabo Studio. The game challenges you to scavenge procedurally generated wastelands, loot gear, and survive against the odds. The open world aspect is particularly engaging, with five distinct maps to explore, each filled with unique challenges and loot opportunities. Your base of operations, the bunker, serves as a hub where you can accept quests, trade with NPCs, and upgrade your equipment. Dave the Diver is a unique blend of deep-sea exploration and restaurant management, developed by Mintrocket. In this single-player adventure RPG, you play as Dave, who dives into the mysterious blue hole during the day to catch fish and gather ingredients, and then runs a sushi restaurant at night. The open-world aspect is particularly engaging, with procedurally generated underwater environments teeming with diverse marine life and hidden treasures. As you progress, you can upgrade your diving gear, unlock new recipes, and manage your restaurant to attract more customers. Dustland Delivery is a post-apocalyptic survival business simulator where you scour the wastelands for profit, complete missions to grow your trading empire, and assemble a ragtag band of adventurers to turn your city into the capital of the Dustlands. The game features a vast open world with a rich narrative, allowing players to establish trade routes across unique settlements and control resource flows to build magnificent cities. You can transform your truck into a mobile base, install mods to turn it into a deadly weapon, and recruit companions with distinctive traits to help build your city. Pico is a charming beekeeping simulation game where you can breed, collect, and conserve various bee species. Set in a lush archipelago, the game combines resource gathering, biology, and unique beekeeping minigames inspired by both real life and fantasy apiculture. Players can explore different biomes, crossbreed bees to discover new species, and uncover the secrets of the Apico Islands. The game also supports four-player online co-op allowing you to share the beekeeping experience with friends.
Moonlighter is an action RPG with roguelite elements where you play as Will, a shopkeeper with dreams of becoming a hero. By day, you manage your shop in the village of Renoka, selling items you collect during your nighttime adventures. By night, you explore various dungeons, battling monsters, and gathering valuable artifacts. The game features procedurally generated dungeons, ensuring a unique experience each time you venture out. As you progress, you can upgrade your shop, craft new equipment, and unlock new abilities, blending the excitement of dungeon crawling with the strategic elements of shop management. Vagabond is a 2D sandbox RPG that offers a rich, procedurally generated open world for players to explore. You start with no memories or possessions and must forge your destiny by exploring diverse biomes, completing quests, and interacting with hundreds of NPCs. The open world aspect is particularly engaging, allowing you to gather resources, craft items, and build and furnish your home. You can also fight monsters in dungeons, join guilds, and even share your adventures with friends through multiplayer support. Miniland Adventure is a sandbox adventure game where you start with a small patch of land and gradually expand it by placing biome tiles you receive daily. The game offers a rich open world experience, allowing you to explore various biomes such as forests, deserts, grasslands, and more. You can collect resources, craft items, build and decorate your dream house, and even farm different crops and animals. Additionally, you'll encounter monsters at night and can trade with goblins you find in the world. Tradesman, Deal to Dealer, is a unique blend of trading simulation and adventure, developed by Azamatica. In this game, you play as a merchant traveling through various towns and villages in a horse-drawn or bear-drawn cart. The open-world aspect is particularly engaging, with procedurally generated environments that offer diverse challenges and opportunities for trade. You can buy and sell goods, hire mercenaries, and complete quests to grow your trading empire. The game also features a dynamic economy and a variety of regions to explore, each with its own unique characteristics. Crystallize is a 2D open-world action RPG developed by Yukusagi Games. In this game, you create and customize your own Sky Island, which serves as your base of operations. The open-world aspect is particularly engaging, allowing you to explore a vast world below the Sky Island, gather resources, and battle enemies. You can freely move between the Sky Island and the land, using the resources you collect to build and enhance your island. The game combines field exploration with base customization, offering a unique blend of action and simulation. As you progress, you can unlock new biomes, monsters, and dungeons, making each adventure unique and immersive. Siren Fate is a retro-inspired RPG developed by Vethergen and published by Creativo. The game combines classic RPG elements with modern mechanics, offering a sprawling open world filled with magic, monsters, and adventure. You play as a newly minted witch, exploring mysterious lands to uncover ancient relics and restore the Fate Stone. The open world aspect is particularly engaging, with various biomes to explore, creatures to capture and train, and a deep crafting system. You can also engage in farming, fishing, and other sandbox activities, making the game rich in content and replayability. That is the video, guys. If you wonder why your favorite game not included on this list, that's maybe it's already included on part one or part two. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.